We'll meet Ash back at the hotel, see what he's got. Wait. Call me. Yes? Maureen Phillips, Media Services. Media? Sorry. Hello? I'm already on it. Please tell the minister it's all in hand. He has nothing to worry about. I'm with Peter now. Yeah. Yeah, I'll call you as soon as I'm on my way back. OK. Sorry about that. You know what politicians are like. Yes. Thing is, we've been tipped off that the press are conducting an investigation into NHS trust services, and this hospital's been earmarked. I see. What they do is they select a patient and follow his progress through the system, debriefing him as and when he leaves. Well, uh, the, the thing is, I mean... The patient they selected is an elderly man called... Albert Stroller? God, I can just see the headlines now. Right. Look, uh, I'll get on to... Find the, him, I'll... Peter. Treat him like a prince. We're all in your hands now. a little more one-to-one. No, thanks. No, I've got it all oh, sussed. I'm just really, you know, going through the those fine details. Details? I know what you're thinking. Yeah? Yeah, you're thinking the most important thing is to keep him away from the police, right? I mean, most marks don't report a con because they think they've done something illegal. Or better still, they don't know they've been conned in the first place. Yeah, that's right. But with Jennings, his reputation's the biggest thing. He has to be seen as top dog. Brilliant. Brilliant. It is. Wow. That's like you're in my head. So you're probably thinking of a way to make him look stupid if he did go to the police, right? Right. Something that might ruin his reputation, that sort of thing? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what? That is really, really clever. Yeah. Yeah, I scare myself sometimes. Right. How far away? Do you work here? I'm in charge of the Bronze Age. Well, not the Bronze Age as such. I mean, that's a period of time. That would make me a, a queen and a, a time traveller at that. <laughs> no, 
no, I'm actually in charge of the artifacts that help in the period. And these are my crowning glory. One of the great mysteries of London. It seems a bit far-fetched that there's a gold mine in London somewhere. No, not really. Um, the landscape was very different 6,000 years ago, after all. No, it's perfectly feasible. In actual fact, we have a professor of geology here in the museum who's writing a paper on it. Really? Where do I find this professor? I'm a philanthropist. I invest in scientific studies. Oh, well, in, in that case, I, I'm sure he'd be happy to talk to you. Let me write down his number. It says here the original mine would be worth millions. N indeed, uh, I doubt what you see here represents even 1% of what was actually there. Of course, the site's almost certainly been built on by now, so we'll never know, will we? <laughs> um, I've um, written my number on the other side. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your visit. Um, the Saxon military construction is excellent. <laughs> some other time, eh? We, um... I promise, darling. I'll decide this time. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on. You said you'd made up your mind. Perhaps Madam would like to try one on. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you should have been taking it no, easy. No, 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 Ooh, all right, Betsy, baby. Go all right, Betsy. All right, Betsy. All right, all right. All right. Hey, how are you feeling? I, I'm, I'm fine. I, I, I'm, I just need some air. Okay, then you can wait in the car. Oh, Here we but go. My... Come on, come on. Oh. It's been a heavy day. Pity. Look, I'll take care of the dog. Would you mind just escorting her to the car? Thank you. I am so sorry to have wasted your time. Maybe we'll try to come back when we're next in London. If it helps, uh, I believe your wife is about to opt for this one. You think? Could be a very expensive mistake if you're wrong. Tell you what, why don't I go and ask her? Shouldn't take a second. Yeah? Of course, sir. I'll be a second. You shouldn't go sneaking up on people. Well, you didn't lock the door. Cost you five it. What do you want? Oh, sweet. Yeah, I found it there. Sing. Huh? Sing. What for? Because I need you to. Sing what? Anything. Come on. Not like you to be shy. Get him up, move on, move on, hit him up, hit him up, move on, roll high. Pull him out, ride him in, ride him in, kill him out, pull him out, roll high. Roll. Step in the 
hustle, blah, definitely I grind. So you can try anything you want, I definitely don't mind. Definitely got my team, I definitely know your face. So don't jump at your prime, I'll definitely put you in your place. Yeah, definitely I hustle, blah, definitely I grow. So you can try anything you want, I will definitely just grow. Definitely got my sword, definitely really strong. So don't take talking like your prime, I'll definitely get drunk. Listen, definitely I hustle, blah, definitely I fly. So you can try anything you want, I'll definitely just sign. I see bad boy, baby. Virginia D. Theft sneaking into girls' bedrooms at night, slapping them around and leaving them a rose on the pillow. I see fast cars and guns. Mindless violence and group sex. Kids like hiding his records in their bedrooms because they don't want to be grounded for life. Let's take that generation gap and all that institutional crap. Open it up and rip out your grandma's heart. You feel me? I see a British M&M. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like I'm full guy. Everything's all right. It would appear so. Although I may need to come back to do a follow-up test. Cool. Yeah, whatever. Uh, actually, um, <clears throat> I was thinking while I was having that coffee. <laughs> well, seven cups of coffee, actually. Um, no, what it is, um, I was thinking, uh, now that I'm legal, as it were, whether you and I might be able to, I don't know, go out for a, a drink sometime, if that's allowed. I'm ever so sorry. I'm gay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what a waste. I doubt my partner would agree. Yeah. I sorry. suppose you and her... Would... Uh, no. Please. Mm-hmm. Don't say it. So you think you're going to need more than a tie? So I'll tie one. It's the bag, OK? Take this, you know, stand over there. You're a Spanish tourist looking for something. I'll point out the mark. Off you go. Go on. Go on. for a little action or are you too wet behind the ears to try your hand against a real crossroader shoot I want to bet you I can bite my own eye all right I'll have a little bit of that I'll tell you why I'll have a little bit of that because it can't be done Ready to go, and you're sitting here drinking coffee. Just having a chat with my new best mate. What does a lady want to bet I can't bite my own eye? Oh, don't be ridiculous. You've obviously got a glass one. <laughs> this guy must think we're complete idiots. Yeah, now. <laughs> James Whitaker. Go. I could turn it over for you. Yeah, I can't see the point. I haven't done anything. Oh, come on. No, no, I'm supposed to be in duty. There's a local garage a couple of miles away. I'll give them a call. Oh, no, wait. Um, I've got something I want to give you. What? You cheated me! Well, strictly speaking, we didn't actually do anything wrong. You're just a greedy bitch. 
you. Yes. What? what? Eat, eat, spit it out. No, eat. I think the tape's got stuff. <laughs> you really need to watch your temper. You'll pay for this. You already have. Six underground to be precise. when he's sending it over, such a darling. You know Denzi? Little. A little. Look, oh, you haven't got a drink. <laughs> Girl. A glass for my friend. I really should No, 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 nonsense. I'm Lady Bardwell. Sofia Petrovna. Ah, do svidania. Mm. Do svidania. <laughs> So tell me, how come I don't know you? Mm -hmm. At this stage, very little can go wrong. We got to say hi. फरिश्ता थी जिसकी खूबसूरती किसी और जहां से है आज हम एक बड़ा सौदा करने वाले हैं और आप इस खूबसूरत सितारे को डायरेक्ट करने वाले हैं डॉक्टर साहब यहाँ पर है इसने जो बोला सही बोला ये डांस बहुत अच्छा है बात सही है मेरे दोस्त लेकिन इसे रुपये निकलवाना है मेले में दिखा मेरा दिल फड़का दुख ना दूंगा सही पैसे दे दूंगा 
ये बदल गया ही इस नौ का अगर यहाँ हाथी होता मुझे याद है ये सब मुझे लूटना चाहते थे उनसे ना कहना This is a very different person. So what do we do now? Well, however we got here, we're about to break our code and con a good man. Well, Harold is a good man too. I'm sure he'd rather have a chain Samar and lose a few pounds. It's not even a fair fight anymore. Yeah, so what's the next thing? Mugging old ladies? We can't do this. I agree. You are joking. No, Danny, I'm not joking. I mean, look at him. He's sick. You're giving up 200 grand and he's sick. We walk away. 